If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you.
Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Come on through! Come on through to the other side. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three. That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. OK, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. Bye. I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Put me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? I can't... I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Got I open while your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on, though. Where are we going? Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Hello. Oh, no. Yes, hello. We're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. If you wanna just call it quits, we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off, she's off. Don't panic over, she's off. All fine, on we go. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know, I know, I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch him. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This, actually, look at it, that is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Ah! I just, sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. 
just well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find an escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's, uh, God quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic! Alright, stop panicking. Uh, I can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack it. Not a problem. A, 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 um, A. A, 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 C. Wait, did I do B? Did you have a pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen. All right, new plan. Act natural, act natural. We've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Ah! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. Hold on. There. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. 